just doing some very basic toe work. So I've just got the ball of the foot down there, my left knee is bent, right up on the toes, and I'm just going to do some little pulsing movements, pulsing the left knee forward like a partial squat, seeing how the toes feel about that. I've got the weight pretty even, big toe, through the toes to the little toe, through forward backwards, and put it that way. Yep, if any of the toes don't actually feel like that, you might want to use some fingers to position them. Very often the little toes don't bend. Good. So you're just testing your range of movement. Now you're going to pause there, so I'm deep sunk through. I'm going to try and load up those toes a bit more, so take a bit of weight off the support leg. And then add some little circles of the knee, move around a little bit. and circle the other way. Good. Okay, then pause. And then do some pulling the knee in, pulling the knee out. So you're rolling, waving up the big toe, waving the little toe. And then come up. So this is just testing the toe movement. We're going to do a much more intense version in a minute. So other side, even way across the toes and the ball of the foot. Use the other leg for stabilisation, and we're just doing some pulsing, little squatting movements, keeping the ball of the foot on the floor, ball of the foot being right to the base of the big toe joint. And your focus here is on bending the toes, so driving the knee forward and load it up as much as you can. Does anyone notice a left right difference in this toe movement? In their feet? Yeah. Okay, so you did a bit of a test of your range, pause there, and do some little circles with the knee. These are micro ones, just exploring any movement to that toe bend. And then go the other way. Getting a free little leg workout here because you're holding a partial squat. <laughs> okay, pause. And then drag the knee in and out. In and out. Try to get that foot to relax. A little monitor, of course, for your. Gentle version, we've got a much stronger one coming up. So position the toes, 
So you know that actively curl them because all of your water is crammed in the foot. Even to begin with, big toe, other toe, little toe, and just do some squatting up and down movements. So you'll notice the left right difference in this toe movement in the feet. Does anyone find any particular toes don't relax or don't bend? For me, the right big toe on this side is recalcitrant. It doesn't want to do this. It's a good word, one. Mm. And pause. I broke my foot in toe last year. Okay, well, we, yeah. My toe was dislocated. Yeah, I think I dislocated my little toes many, many times doing gymnastics. Now I'm just doing little left right movements with that knee. And then I'm doing the right side, so I'm going to twist to the right and try and reload up the big toe joint. There's a bit of contractions here, of course. You can try and drag the toes through at any point. And then twist the other way and let the ankle collapse to the outside. And as much as you can, load up there. Of course, it's completely controllable. You don't want to pull anything. And then add some tiny movements, any movement that you can produce, add it to the basic position. You can think about moving the ankle, you can move the knees, you can move the hips, all produces different sensations. And we're going left and right now. 
load up the totes. Take as much weight on the arms as you need to to control this. You could do side to side, you could do circles, figure eights, whatever you want. And yeah, if you need to have a break at any time, it's fine. Okay, that'll probably do that one. So now let's just try and go into a full squat. Put the heels down. We're not going to be too precious about good form or anything like that. We just need to find a foot width and angle that we can get down. If you needed to, you could go and hang on the pole or a ladder bar. <coughs> and then just do some little moving around here. Now we're going back to ankles rather than feet. I'm just doing some little circles, both directions. You can have the body really slumped or you can lift the chest. We won't be here for too long. How long is too long? Maybe five minutes. We'll just be here for a little bit. And then you can just pause in a comfortable position and try and let the feet relax completely here. Not making any effort of any sort, just hanging your wrist in here. Move again, move again. Yeah. Who's 
good afterwards. <laughs> Relax. 